money, you got some money? Never mind, you look worse than I do. <laughs> Why should I do that, Selim? We notified all the police precincts and hospitals. With God's will, we'll find your fiance. Selim, it's getting late and we can't find Asya anywhere. Asya's all alone. She doesn't know her way around this city and she's hurt. Hello? 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 Who is this? Sevki, don't worry, I'm alright. <gasps> Asya! Asya, where are you? Are you alright? Asya! Where are you? <sighs> are you out of your mind? Do you know what happens to people who do that kind of stuff? Once you're addicted, there's no return. Do I look that stupid to you, ma'am? What part of it am I gonna get addicted to? All you gotta do is know when to stop. I mean, everybody should try this stuff. <laughs> now you're making me curious. It really felt like you were flying, huh? for you and praying for your safety. Think about it. Why are you telling me all this? I may be telling you this, but can you understand the meaning of my words? I don't feel anything at all. <sighs> Just keep sniffing. You will. <sighs> <clears throat> may I help you? Well, I'm here for the room for rent. Is the room for you? Yes, it is. That is, if it's still available. Ah, oh, you guys really reek. Don't smell too much. You might get high, too. You guys are crazy. Look here. Look here. Oh, oh, what happened? It's oh, what's the matter? Get... What's going on here? Look here. Oh, oh, look like he's uh, Give him some room to breathe. Did anybody Oh, Ilker, can you hear me? Look, I'm here. Your father's here too. Please open your eyes. There is something you can do. Anything, anything, I'll do anything. Whoever you encounter at school, tell them how you used that poisonous chemical and how it affected you. Tell your friends how this kind of poison can easily destroy and even end young people's lives. But Mrs. Hakton, I don't want anybody to know I did it. What would my mother and father say? They might even kick me out of school. It's easy to do something wrong. What's hard is to own up to it. It's your decision. All right, Miss Hockton. You're right. I'll do what you told me to do. Ah, oh, oh, look what I did. you were bringing me more water. Mother, I think this girl ran away from home. <gasps> what are you talking about? How do you know she ran away? I just saw it in the paper. Asya? Asya, where are you?
Hey, hey, where are you going so late? Huh? Who scared you like that, huh, sweetheart? No, oh, poor thing. What happened to your face? Huh? Who are you hiding your face from, sweetie? Hey, let's find out what she's got Let me underneath go. that, huh? Let me go! Shut up, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Come back, back here! Hey. She looked to us like she was very scared, as if she was running away from something. Actually, I was suspicious from the beginning. Her story just didn't sound right to me. I didn't believe her. Was she gone for very long when you made the call? No, not at all. We called right away. Our suspicions were confirmed when we saw the newspaper ad. We tried to make the call without her knowing, but she must have heard us. Let's try up here. Hello, Sevki. How's it going? Any news yet? There's nothing yet. She got scared and left. But she couldn't have gone too far from here. She must be around here somewhere. We'll keep driving around. Okay, can you? We'll be waiting. Hey, let's turn right here. What is it, Mom? They're still looking for her. Please, God, let her be all right. Keep her safe and bring her back to me. Please, God, I'm begging you. Should I know? She should be around here somewhere. <gasps> oh, there she is! Get her! <laughs> there they are! We found her! Stay where you Don't are! Move. Don't move! Don't move! It's alright. It's alright. It's all over. Are you okay? Let's go. He knows we're waiting. If they find her, he'll call us. Hey, Asya, it would be great if you just showed up. Oh. Hello? Yes, Kadir. Oh, thank God. They found her. They're on their way home. They're oh. coming. How's she doing? Can I speak to her? I'd like to hear her voice. Of course, Kadir. We'll be waiting for you. How is she? She's not talking, but she's doing fine. What a relief. She's alive and well, thanks to God. Hmm. Aunt May Tap? I just love it when you call me Aunt. Will you teach me how to knit a sweater? Of course I will. Just tell me when you want to. Zainab, if I were you, I would look for another teacher. First, Aunt Maytap has to learn to do it herself. Okay, Funda, you keep making fun of me. But once I finish it, you'll want one too, and then you won't get one from me. 
I'm gonna lie down for a while. You've hardly eaten anything. I had enough, thank you. Where are you going? Uh, she doesn't look so good. I think I better go check on her. You stay, I'll check on her. I'm pretty full too, you finish your meal. You don't feel so good, am I right? No, but it's just the usual. Oh my god, Sevgi, you're burning up. It happens on and off. I'll be fine. Sevgi, please, that's enough already. You've got to go to the hospital. This is serious. I know that, Meta. Please don't worry about me. Why shouldn't I worry, Sevgi? You're putting your life in danger. That's not true. I know what I'm doing. I'm just waiting for the right moment. Sevgi, your situation doesn't have a right moment. You're using the children as your excuse, but pretty soon they'll find out about it. You can't hide from this forever. I know I can't. That's not what I'm trying to do. I wanted to see Kadir's wedding first, but now I don't know. Oh, look, if you don't want to, we won't tell them that you have cancer. We'll tell them it's nothing serious and that you need to stay in the hospital for a while. No, that won't work. They need to hear the truth from me. One moment, please. I will get her. Who is that? It's Dr. Pinar. Hello? This is Funda, Sevki's daughter. Um... If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you about my mother's health. Uh, have a good day. Here's my mother. Here. Good morning, Dr. Pinar. How are you? Thank you very much. Yes, I know. That sounds good. I'll stop by as soon as possible. I'm sorry I did that. I don't know why, Mom, but... I guess... I guess I feel like you've been hiding something from us. Funda, you are my everything. You mean more to me than life itself. I feel the same about you. I want you always to remember. I would never hide anything from you that you should know. Whatever it is, I'll tell you when the time comes. Hello, sweetie. Hi, Norie. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? We're fine, too. Is she still not talking? She's not talking, and she won't even open the door. Asya, please open the door. I just want to give you a hug. You don't have to talk to me. Just for a minute. Just let me give you a hug for one minute. Asya, please. I'm sure what you're going through isn't easy, but by behaving like this, you're only hurting yourself, Asya. Asya, you are the most beautiful girl in the world. Nothing can ever change that. Please, I beg you, just open the door. You haven't eaten anything in three days. Look, we brought you some soup. At least take it. Have some food for our sake, please. Just crack open the door and take the soup. Please, Asya. If you love us, you'll at least do that. <gasps> Thank you, Asya. <laughs> we all love you. Thank you.
Asya is holding herself together so well. If that happened to me, I'd probably lose my mind. Difficult life experiences make us stronger. They teach us about ourselves. And usually we learn we can handle a lot more than we think we can. It's difficult to live through life's struggles, but that's how we grow. That's what Asya is facing now. You know, Kadir gains my respect again and again. Through all of this, he hasn't lost his love for Asya. I hope he feels that way forever. I hope so too. You don't think his feelings will change, do you? No, that's not what I meant. But sometimes, when we're following our conscience, we forget to listen to what's inside our heart. Get out of here! Shouldn't you be back at school? Uh, what is this? What's happening here? Did someone die? It's because of me. It's because of me your life drastically changed. <laughs> Come on, stop whining. Tell me if you're ready to make it up to me. What? Make it up to you? What do you mean? Of course I will. I'll do whatever I can. I'll do whatever you want me to. We knew paint thinner and all the other illegal drugs were dangerous, didn't we? Hmm. Then why did we do it? We didn't do much. I mean, not that much. We didn't know it could hurt a person this bad, right? There's so many people like us, who like to show off or like to do it because of curiosity. They do drugs thinking it won't hurt them and that they'll be okay. And that's just not true. Yeah, even kids. Yeah, even children are in danger. But we can stop and help them. We can prevent the same thing from happening to them that happened to me. What do you mean? You mean us? Yes, us. You, me, and all of our friends. Whoever wants to join us. Uh, so, how are we gonna do it? By telling them. We'll go from school to school and tell everyone what we lived through. They'll see with their own eyes what happens when you try drugs just once. So are you ready to fix your mistake now? Are you game? Sure. You bet I'm game. <laughs> A writer will, from time to time, express his own opinions on subjects he's writing about. He doesn't necessarily approach them without prejudice. One of our tasks when analyzing literature is to figure out when a Excuse me. We're sorry to interrupt your class, Mrs. Hockton. That's all right. How can I help you? You may sit down. Uh, go ahead. Lately, we've had several burglaries in our school. The last incident occurred just yesterday. A student had his iPod stolen. This is a matter that concerns us all. Theft is a serious crime and something our school will not tolerate. Whoever it is will eventually get caught and be punished. Now, everyone, put your school bags on your desks. Stand up, please. Asya, please. If you can't think of yourself, think of us. This type of behavior is hurting you as much as it's hurting us. Nothing has changed between us, Asya. You're still the one we all love. Our love is based on who you are as a person, even in the darkest days. Please, Asya, we love you. You have to believe me. Asya, please. You're okay. Sit down. There you go again. Another one. How many times do we have to tell you there are absolutely no cell phones at school? Do you understand that? Sorry, I must have forgotten. Look at this. Haven't I told you already? There is theft going on in this school. And if you bring expensive items like this, it will only encourage the thieves. You're right, Mrs. Soraya. You told us. 
Then why won't anyone Mrs. listen Soraya? to me? If you were as rich as she is, it wouldn't seem that valuable. Then we should ask her father whether he thinks it's valuable or not. You can get this back when you leave. But if I ever see anyone with a cell phone again, I'll take disciplinary action against all of you. Excuse me. May I say something? What is it? Mrs. Soraya, this is totally unfair. Even the police have to get a court order to hmm. search people. I don't know, but just because a couple of people are stealing, you treat us all like thieves. Bravo! Yes, yes, right. Right. I can tell her. Get Quiet, her. everyone. Go, That's I enough. Know. Of course, everything is simple when you're young. Once you grow up, well, then you find out what life is really like. Have a good day, Sevgi. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Mrs. Akka. Am I wrong, Mrs. Haktan? Please tell me if I am. You are right, Isol. And hold on to those ideals as you grow up. Hanche, do you mind? Would you please check this for me? I don't want to mess it up again like I did last time. No, no, you're doing just fine. Oh no, you missed it again. I did? Look, there. You just missed it right there. Oh, this is really hard work. I was thinking about making some money at home, but this kind of work is driving me crazy. Oh. Well, how about me? Did I miss any? Huh. You know, Aunt Maytap, if you can't do that better than me, what kind of grown up are you? Oh, shush. Here, these are your supplies. You bring back beautiful sweaters and you'll get paid for them. That's all. Is there a time limit? Not at all. Take your time. I mean, when are we supposed to bring them back? That is up to you. Of course, the faster you finish it, the more money you earn. Of course, that makes sense. But we do need a deposit for the supplies. Please don't misunderstand me. There are people out there who take advantage. They take my yarn, my needles, and they never come back. Oh, you don't have to tell me. How much? Only $50. You can pay the clerk at the front desk. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. See you later. Hey, we got a problem. Some of the women are asking for their money. Tell them to come back later, all right? Huh? Money's tight right now. Mm. Tell them they'll get paid later. They say they don't want to live for us no more. They say either we get our money or we call the police. Oh, that's not good. Pay them and get rid of them. Uh. Zeki, look. Hmm? Zeki, we shouldn't take any more risks. Let's pack this place up. We're going to blow this popsicle stand. You're the boss. This is a street. You don't know who I am, do you? Well, I'll tell you who I am. My name is Fallyhe. I've seen your kind of people all my life. If I give you ten bucks, you'll turn into polite human beings. Listen, don't insult my intelligence. This is a public street. You can't set up a tent here. Then where can I set up a tent? Up in the mountains where I can be prey to the wild animals? Don't make us use force on you. If you don't pack it up, you're going to leave us no choice. Oh, really? Well, I'd like to see you try. I've been living in this neighborhood for 20 years. Nobody can move me out of my tent. Let me talk to your superior officer. I'm not going to talk to you. Go on. Lady, you're pushing your luck. We're running out of patience. We are asking you for the last time to leave. Are you going to pack up and go or what? What's going to happen if you run out of patience, huh? Are you going to beat me? Arrest me? That's enough already. Get your Come hands on. off of me! Go uh, home! Leave me alone! You... You'll have to kill me first! I'm not leaving! You're really pushing it, lady! Uh, excuse Leave me, alone. me, what's the matter? What's going Your on here? Your landlord kicked her out of her apartment. Now she's living in this tent. What am I supposed to do then? You want me to live in a cardboard box? Is Calm that it? Calm down. We'll find a solution. I am not leaving this spot. Is that clear? <laughs> 
Listen, young ladies, I've told you this before. It's not as easy to record a demo tape as you think. We're not worried about that. We're only asking you to help us get a band in a studio. We just want to record a new demo tape. We'll take care of the rest. Listen, girls, there are thousands of people with demo tapes out there. It doesn't matter how good your demo tape is. If you don't have good distribution, then it means nothing. That's why we want to make the demo, so we can get it out to good companies. Otherwise, they won't even want to talk to us. It's your decision. But if you ask me, don't waste your money. Besides, what you have doesn't even cover the tape. How much do we need, then? Double this. Easy. Mommy's here. <sighs> here we are. Come in. Please make yourself at home. Hi, Zainab. Look, Mommy, I'm knitting a sweater. <gasps> Great job, sweetie. It's beautiful. Mwah. I have someone special to introduce you to. This is Fadie. She's going to be our guest for a few days. Welcome to our house. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. What's happening to our country these days? There are so many problems out there. And the government is making a fuss about my tent? That's pure nonsense. <sighs> Please, have a seat. Let's forget about that for now. <clears throat> Oh, hi, Mom. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you come in. How could you if you're listening to music this loud? I promise, I won't turn it up so loud again. Didn't your father tell you no music until your college entrance exams are over? But, Mom, I just turned it on two minutes ago. What if instead of me, it was your father who walked in on you? Mmm, I know. I'm a bad daughter. I know you're gonna get upset, but I did something today. What did you do? I'm sorry, but I took your cell phone this morning. The battery in my phone was dead. And? Uh, I lost your phone. Oh, I'm getting tired of your problems! <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. Mm -mm. Thank you. Just like the coffee we used to have in the good old days. Oh, yeah, you're right. I haven't forgotten the great taste of coffee back then. <laughs> or the old ways. Humanity is dying and no one cares. For nine years, I've always paid my rent on time. I paid more when she increased it. I lent her money whenever she needed it. She always came to me. Just because I was late for the last two months, she kicked me out. Don't worry about that. This is life. Anything can happen at any time. Today it's you. Tomorrow it could be us. That's when you find out who your good neighbors and real friends are. We'll all put our heads together and find you an apartment. Listen. We're starting a new neighborhood campaign tomorrow. Well then, I'd like to be the first to help. I'll donate the money I'll earn from making sweaters for this campaign. Me too! Me too! <laughs> Look over there. It's for rent. <gasps> That's perfect. <laughs> Let's go look. So, you started a campaign to help. Please, we're only trying to help. So you're trying to help. Nice. Very nice. And if that's not enough, you're trying to have me rent it again to the crazy person I just kicked out. That's nice. Very nice. Best news I had all day. We're sorry. We really are. Campaign, huh? Campaign for helping her? I'll show you a campaign.
Asya. Asya, don't close the door. Asya, please. Asya. Asya, I beg you, answer me. I reserved a new day for our wedding. Nothing's changed, Asya. Why don't you try to understand? I want to marry you and have a family. Kadir, leave her alone. She needs more time. I just can't take it. She's hurting and we're not able to do anything. Asya, I spoke with an expert on plastic surgery today. He's expecting us tomorrow. Please agree to go see him. Just for a half hour. It'll only take a half hour. Kadir, listen to me, please. What are we going to do? She didn't even touch it. She just drank some water. We'll just keep waiting. We'll wait until she realizes that real beauty is on the inside. Osman from next door is giving $10, and that brings the total to... The total is $464, sir. I don't think so. It shouldn't be that much. <laughs> 7 plus 9 is 16, which makes... <gasps> I don't believe it! You're right, Farye. The total is exactly $464. I was a math teacher for six years before I got married, but of course you didn't know that. You were? Why? Do I look like a dumb person to you? It's not that. I... Uh, you misunderstood. She needs help with math. She was planning to take a private class. I mean, I was looking for a tutor, but I found help right here. Of course, if you want to help me. All right, let me see your book. But I don't operate like today's teachers. If you don't do your homework, you get penalized. Okay, deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God bless my husband. He didn't want me to work and said that what he made was good enough for both of us. God bless him. The two of us were very happy back then. Those were the good old days. Hello, sweetheart. We need to talk. What is it? Here's the results from your test. Your college entrance exams. Have a good night. I'm turning in. Uh. I don't think so, young lady. You're not going anywhere. We need to talk. Is it really that bad? It certainly is. It's awful. So, young lady, we're all waiting for your explanation. I wonder what kind of excuse you'll come up with this time. I'm sorry, Dad, but I don't want to talk right now. You are not excused. You have to tell us about it now. You have to explain to us how this happened. It's because I'm stupid, Dad, that's how. I'm a big dummy. Why don't you understand that? It's all I can do and it's all I can handle. I'm trying very hard, but it's not working. I can't do it. I won't be able to pass the college entrance exam, Dad. Please accept that already. We can't accept it. You will have to pass it. This has nothing to do with being stupid. The reason for all this is her dream of music. Good evening. We are officers from the financial department. The financial department? We're looking for a woman named Farier. We heard she's here. Yes, she is. Mom? Farier? Which one of you is Farier? Yes, that's me. What do you want? Excuse us, but we received a complaint about you. Complaint? Apparently, you're receiving donations illegally. Getting donations illegally? What do you mean? Trying to help others is illegal now? You can't catch the real crooks, isn't that right? When it comes to people like us, it's illegal. Setting up a tent is illegal. Helping others is illegal. Why don't you just say living in this world is illegal too? Farie, just a moment. Please, officer, let us explain. Here, why don't you just go ahead and arrest me? You can only use force against people like Farie, us. Go calm ahead. calm down. We'll handle this. Please. Farie is our friend and a neighbor. 
Unfortunately, she's been evicted from her apartment. So we all got together and started a collection to help her. Everyone in the neighborhood contributed. This was done voluntarily by all parties. Why are you getting involved in this? Everything you were saying is fine, but donations are done with receipts. Can you imagine what might happen if everybody started collecting donations? I'm not making myself clear. We didn't collect money from people we don't know. Everyone who gave is a friend or neighbor. If you're saying that it's a crime for a neighbor to help another, then I don't know what to tell you. Of course it's not a crime. But the person who complained isn't saying that. She's claiming that she was made to feel guilty and threatened. <sighs> Sorry, but tomorrow you have to stop by the station to answer some questions. Good evening. Hey, Kadir, what are you doing here? Sorry about that. Please forgive us. Ali, forgive what? Well, You're doing your job. I'm sorry we disturbed you. It's all right. Like Kadir said, we're just trying to do our job. He knows how it is. As if we're not busy enough, we have to deal with this stuff. Actually, you did something good. You showed us that we need to work with the local authorities. I think we should set up some kind of neighborhood representative. Definitely. Again, we're sorry. Have a good evening. Good, good evening. Night. You all have a good evening. Uh -huh. Take care yeah. of yourselves. Ta -da -da -da! Finally, behold a great product. Congratulations. So, what do you think? Oh, it looks good. And what do you think, Adir? Very pretty. Good job. He doesn't look good. I know. Sevgi, is that you? Sorry, I just dozed off. I didn't want to wake you, but now that you're up, why don't you go upstairs? You'll be more comfortable there. I'll be fine here, Sevgi. I can't sleep anyway. I'll watch something on TV. All right, Kadir. It's up to you. I'm going to turn in. You have a good night. Thank you, Sevgi. You too. Sevgi? Yes? I was wondering, should we take her to a psychiatrist? You mean Asya? I'm scared for her. Looks like she'll never get better at this rate. I know, Kadir. I know how hard this is. But a psychiatrist isn't the answer. That's not the kind of help she needs. Yes, her soul is wounded along with her face. Serious wounds take time to heal, but they do heal. I can't handle this anymore. I feel like my hands are tied, and I'm in a cage. It's like I'm choking on all this. This will all pass, Kadir. Asya needs everything you can give her. And right now, your love is the only thing that can heal her. You have to be strong and patient. Come on, go to sleep now. Try to focus on positive things. Your wedding, for a start. Come on. Sleep well, Kadir. Thanks. Good night, Sevki. I'm so happy, no Asya. I feel like I can fly. Finally, we're married. Can you believe that? We suffered a lot, but it all passed. We're married, Asya. We're married! Why aren't you talking? Please say something. a dream. Oh. oh God. Oh God, what's going on?
Raji, do this. Raji, do that. How come you don't clean up? How come you don't work fast enough? Good morning, Raji. How are you? How do I look to you? What's up? You don't look too happy. Did you get into a fight with your father again? Yeah, I forgot the lights were on last night when I closed the store. This morning you got all over me like I burned down the place. Do you know how much electricity costs? I'd be mad at you too. Yeah, thanks a lot, but I've already had my fill of being yelled at today. You're lucky that's all he did. See you later. Yeah, you have a nice day. Raji, you might be able to help. We were looking for an apartment to rent for someone. Well, we have an apartment for rent, but I don't know. You've got an apartment for rent? Which one? They all have curtains. The one above the store. The tenant moved out last week. My dad's been holding on to it. He said he doesn't want to rent it to some stranger. That's great news. Are you thinking of moving in? No, no, it's not for us. It's for a lady named Farie. She's staying with Mrs. Hockton. It's for her. Eesh, Farie. Never mind. My dad can't stand that lady. What do you mean? Do you know her? Yeah. She used to be a customer of ours. She used to call in orders all the time. But believe me, my dad would rather die than rent it to her. He would? Well, if Mrs. Hockton is involved, he won't say no. I'm going to tell her about this. Amine, you didn't hear from me, okay? Instead of wasting your time talking, come and help me. All right, Dad, all right. What did she want? She wanted a newspaper, oh, one we didn't carry. Oh, isn't that nice? They shop at supermarkets, but they come here for the paper and bread. Blech. Keep working. Dad, can I just take a break for a minute? Say Jill. Say Jill. Are you deaf? I've been calling you. I didn't hear you. What's up? What's up? Is that all? High five. Good news? What is it? Give me a high five. Well? Secret called. He said the studio is ready. I don't believe it. <laughs> We have a recording session tomorrow. Shut up! Are you kidding? I also have some bad news. I couldn't come up with extra money. How about you? Did you ask your mother? Of course she said no. All she's concerned about is the college exam. The only way for them to measure success is by good grades and the big exam. If you got bad grades, then you're stupid. If your trial test scores are bad, then you're a failure. <sighs> Never mind all that. How are we going to come up with the money? Think about that. I don't know, but we'll get it somehow. We'll have to come up with the money no matter what. We're going to do the demo tape. You'll see. We'll get our album done, too. They'll all see that success doesn't only come from school. Come on. <laughs> Mrs. Hopton, you know I respect and adore you. Yes, I do. Ask for my life. I'll give it to you. Here, it's your store. Take anything you want. Thank you. I appreciate that. But, Mrs. Hopton, what you want is totally out of the question. Why not just kill me instead? Uzer, I'm telling you, I'll sign for her. I'll be her guarantor. But that's not it. It's not the rent that worries me. We've known each other for many years, you and I. You know I don't worry about money that much. Sure we do. We know you don't. What bothers me is some other issues, Mrs. Hopton. I mean, if you knew that woman, you'd understand what I'm saying. She made my life miserable when she lived far away. Can you imagine if she lived upstairs? She'll give me a heart attack. She'll dump hot boiling oil on my head from upstairs. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. I'll speak to her about your concerns. Come on, Uzair, do us all a favor. Won't you please do this for us? Uh, uh... You know, Dad, she was a pretty good customer after all. You keep quiet. This doesn't concern you. <laughs> this is none of your business. Please, come on. Oh. Come on, you're killing me here. You're killing me. <laughs> Great. It's a done deal. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, wonderful. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you. you have a good Thank day. you. <laughs> what? <sighs> Why me? Hadache, we're going. We'll sell the sweaters and earn some money, Hadache. Oh, I'm sure you will. But we won't spend it, right? We'll give it all to Faria. That's a good idea. We won't even buy candy. Aw, that's not true. Of course we will. We can buy a little candy, just like the kind we bought the last time. The chocolate with the hazelnuts? Uh-huh, exactly. Let's go. See you later. Bye. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello, Funda. Hello. 
What's up? A student in Class 9C told us that you started a collection for a woman in your neighborhood. Mm-hmm. We'd like to help. Thanks, but their class president was just here. They already collected some money for us. Well, regardless, we decided we didn't want to be left out. What do you mean, left out? We wanted to contribute something, too. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. No problem. See ya. See, Jill. I <laughs> saw that. Now don't forget, Zainab, we're not going to tell them how many times we had to do it over and over again, okay? Aunt Maytap, how much do you think they'll pay me? I don't know, but we'll find out. But again, you stay out of the money business. It's better if I talk to them about it, okay? All right. Hello, is anyone there? Uh, excuse me, what are you doing here? These guys already packed up and left, lady. What are you talking about? I mean, you've been scammed. You're like the 50th person here today. I can't believe this. What are we going to do now? I don't know, lady. You're out of luck. Why am I out of luck? <laughs> I'm the one uh. who's out of luck, Zainab. I should have learned my lesson by now. Come on. Hello, Kadir. Hello, Nuriye. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Is she still the same? Yes, she is. I came to pick her up for a doctor's appointment. I don't think she'll want to go. You ask her. <laughs> Asya. Asya. <laughs> <laughs> 